Good morning, welcome back to a weekly vlog. I hope you guys are all well and just getting ready to go to the gym. Um, because this girl is finally getting back into routine. I'm the most annoying person I ever like. I just keep switching between being in routine and out of routine. But my thinking behind it, right, I'm really starting this vlog off deep, is... Um, you know how like the start of the year, right, everyone's like, oh my god, new year, new me, like, I'm going to get into routine. No, it's not the way to do it. Start getting into the, being the person you want to be now, two months before, because if you start the 1st of Jan, trying to like start a whole new routine on like, on a day, if it goes wrong, you'll feel rubbish. Get into that routine right now, and then come 1st of January, it'll be so much easier. That's my logic, that's my thinking. Um, so that's what I'm doing and I I don't know why I stopped going to the gym because every time I go like I'm so happy I'm not like happy to go don't get me wrong but like all in all I just feel so much happier so yep I'm just getting ready to go I went yesterday as well I did start vlogging yesterday but <laughs> literally got no content so we'll start again today I did go get my nails done yesterday how pretty are they I'm looking a bit orange um, gone a bit too, <laughs> a bit too heavy on the tan. And it's Thursday tomorrow, I need to scrub it off, so it's not great, is it, really? I didn't bring a jumper. I literally have a really thin, long sleeve top on and that's it. Who's an idiot? Me. I'm actually in love with these nails. I think they're my favourite. Every time I get my nails done, I'm like, these are my favourite ones. Like, these are the favourite ones. But these actually are. I might go full red next time. I thought we'd we'd start soft and just do tips. But, but yeah. I've just stopped off a car on the way home because I thought it'd be mean to send Dan to work and I'm literally passing it but I've just picked up some sausages for dinner um just can't get them from Aldi and some things cool, like these were only ACP compared to the branded ones which were three pounds um and it's got irons and vitamins in it so do you know what I'll take it I just love hot cereal in the winter I had like nice hot shredded wheat for breakfast this morning I'm gonna have myself some hot cornflakes tomorrow maybe porridge the next day yeah and that is that anyway I'm going home I'm just making myself some lunch I'm just gonna have scrambled eggs and toast nice and easy I'm so lazy I do my scrambled eggs in the microwave um does anyone else I feel like a lot of people might I don't know, maybe not, but um, yeah, scrambled egg on toast with a big cup of tea, love it. Hi, I've had lunch, I've just had a shower and I'm really feeling like an at home pamper. Yesterday I was like, mm, do you know you're just like not feeling, you're not feeling down out of den. I was like, I really want to get my brows done again because I just don't like the natural colour of my brows and I was like, don't waste money, like, I don't need to book in for a shave into when I can literally do it at home, like, just do it yourself, don't be lazy, so I ordered some stuff of Amazon, I don't know how good it's all going to be, but when I go to see my brow lash lady, I always get, well, no, <laughs> not always, it changes all the time, sometimes I get lash extensions, although I haven't had those since the start of the year, normally get a lash lift and then either a brow lamp or a brow shape and tint the norm seems to be a lash lift and a brow shape and tint um but i've noticed being blonde it makes a massive difference just tinting my eyelashes so we've got some brow tint this i've never used this i always see talia talia using it um so i'm just copying her this is the tattoo brow oh, i've got medium brown i'm hoping that's going to be an okay shade And then I just got some lash tint. I don't want to give my I don't want to like lift my lashes or anything because I got them done the start of October, so I don't need to get them done. Like I don't want to ruin my lashes, so I'm just gonna get this. It's just black. Oh, this is lash and brow tint, but I'm gonna use this for my lashes, definitely not my brows. So I'm gonna sit and do this and hope that I'll feel a bit better. 
I probably hate my brows even more <laughs> once I've done this, to be quite honest. Um, but we'll give it a go. I'm hoping this isn't going to have like a red tinge to it because I have very warm brows as it is. And I definitely don't need them to be any warmer. Oh, I don't think I've got the one I thought. I wanted the peel off one. I don't think this is it. This isn't what I thought it was. Well, we're going to still draw. We'll still give it a go anyway and hope for the best. Imagine if they look like this. <laughs> Hi, guys. That would be a disaster. I mean, this could be a disaster, but I'm all for you never know unless you try, hey? I'm going for it. Don't leave it on too long because you can always make it darker, but you struggle to make it lighter. Probably should have put some Vaseline in this. Oh my god, it looks black. White, white, white. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Right, we're going to wipe it off quickly. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I'm off to go get some head and shoulders BRB. Head and shoulders is so good at stripping colour. I obviously don't use it on my hair because I don't want to strip the colour of that, but... Wow! That honestly just saved a disaster. Okay, panic over. I did panic for a second. I honestly feel like I've just had a brow shape and tint and my lashes done. And I haven't. Well, I have. I just did it at home. So, I've got nothing on my lashes, just the product I've used, which... Don't be alarmed, it is purple. Um, but they haven't come out purple, at least I don't think they have. I needed to mix it with cream, which luckily I had from this kit from a while ago. So just be aware if you buy this off Amazon, you need the mixing cream. And yeah, brows, I have um, stuck my brows down with soap just so I could see like if any bits needed tweezer and I could just kind of like see it better. They could probably go darker, but for like right now, they're fine and I'm more than happy with them. I feel like they look a lot better than what they were. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to put like a tiny bit of makeup on maybe. And then, yeah, I think I'm just going to put maybe a little bit of makeup on. You can see, but I like to make the living room nice and cosy. this camera it looks like i'm walking around in the pitch black but it's really oh i think it's the settings because that was a bit weird wasn't it see it's <laughs> literally looked like it was pitch black but it's not hmm strange uh what else what shall i light what else shall i destroy in this house Like I'm making like I'm living in the olden times and I'm trying to make light with <laughs> a candle. Got the lamp on. I quite like this little one. This was what I got in the Timu video. I bought it for upstairs, but in the Timu video, in a haul, at, oh my god, in a vlog I did a few a couple of months ago, about a month ago, six weeks ago. I don't know what it was. I did a Timu haul in it and I got this and it was meant to be upstairs but I like it in here. Cozy. Alright, uh, these arrived today. Did I say that? Now, what is going on with my camera? Can you see those lines? No, what have I done? Right, I have no clue what's happening, but I'm just hoping that I've sorted it. Looks like I have, but these came today. I'm not going to try them now, though, because I'm cold, and I'd much prefer a cup of tea, but I'm going to definitely try them in the morning. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a cup of tea. I think I want to kill some spits because I don't mind heat, and sorry, it's quite loud in the kitchen. Uh, see the sausage and mushroom sausage pasta for dinner. I 
think I'm going to take them off the team and do sausage and mash because Dan is working from home tomorrow and he can cook better sausage pasta than what I can. And I mean, anyone can make sausage and mash, right? So I think I'll do the sausage mash tonight and then he can do the sausage pasta tomorrow. So I think I'm going to peel some squids since he's on his own time. Tea. Really struggling with things to do in the evening because we used to love going out for walks in the summer and we can't. So evenings at the minute we're just both like, oh, there's nothing we can do though. Obviously we could go to the cinema, we could go bowling, but it's just expensive to do like, well, not that we do it every night anyway, but even every week it's expensive. So yeah, evenings aren't the most fun ATM. Thanks Winter, thanks a lot. things started happening when you walked away so that's why i stay right here hello good morning i'm on my way to a farm one of my best friends has got a little boy oh my god he's just the cutest thing ever um so we're going to the farm for the day I don't have kids, but I like to participate in the activities that they do because I find it fun. And it's just a nice little day out. It's a change, you know. It's different from going shopping, going to the farm. But I've just picked myself up. I say a meal deal. It's not a meal deal because I just didn't like any... I don't like wraps. And I didn't like any of the sandwiches. And I've got pasta for dinner. So I just picked up some Quavers, some Dairy Lee Dunkers, a Milky Bar, and some refrigerators. Health at its finest. But it's what I wanted. But I'm gonna head to the farm. I think it might take me about 40 minute, a 40 minute drive maybe. Um, we're going to Little Owl Farm Park in. I think it's an Ombersley. Worcester way. Cause when all of my dreams seem so out of reach, your crystal clear, you don't disappear, baby. No. I've had such a lovely day at the park, at the park, at the farm, <laughs> and we've been so lucky with the weather, it's not started raining until we got to the soft play bit, and then obviously in the car, but it's been so nice, uh, but yeah, I'm on my way home, it is almost quarter past four, I shouldn't have gone in this lane, because this lane's not moving, she tried to be clever by going in the quick lane, but the, this was such a mistake. Brilliant that, absolutely brilliant. Um, but yeah, gonna go home. I'm gonna go break the news to Dan that I don't think I'm gonna see him much. I think I'm gonna go down to see Talir next week. I haven't seen her in over a year. We talk every single day. Well, we don't really talk every week, but in the week we talk like every single day. Um, and I haven't seen her in so long, like I say, over a year. I planned to go out and see her in Paris, but where she was injured, it just never happened. So I think I'm going to go see her for a couple of nights next week, and then I'm away the week after. I'm going driving all the way to Southampton by myself. Um, yeah, I'm going to the football to watch a football game. Driving all the way to Southampton to go watch a football game. If that is not dedication, I don't know what is. But my management are down in Southampton, so we're going to go together. Um, I'm so lucky are into football i'd say it as much as me um if not more so it's it's it is so good so we're gonna go to a game together and that's the week after um but yeah that is that i'm gonna go break the news to that say hi this is one of the last times you've seen me for a while uh, no, I'm actually looking forward to it to be fair and I, when I go to Southampton because I was going to drive there and back but I was like that is so long because my wife was going to be in the way that is so long and obviously I don't want to risk it's almost a four hour drive and I don't want to risk doing that being tired so I booked myself a hotel I've never stopped in a hotel by myself I have a nice little hotel and I honestly cannot wait no offence to them um, I just 
I've been a bit of an independent queen since then, do you know? <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got a nice couple of weeks planning. Like I say, I'm very much so looking forward to seeing Talia because even though we speak, like I say, every single day, I haven't seen the garden in a very long time. So social life is social life is really on the up at the minute. It's really on the up. I love it though, like it's so cheesy I said it to Dan. This is like I mean I'm not ashamed to say this of course I'm so happy to say it but like I've never genuinely been this happy in my life. I was giving you my life story and it cut off so I don't know what happened there. But um I was saying that like I'm just so happy like I've honestly never been this happy in life and I couldn't pinpoint what it is. It's a lot of different things but it's definitely the like my friends I've got around me currently. I think like when I moved in with Dan, I was really lonely for a bit because I'd moved away from my friends and of course you can still see them but like I'm talking one of my friends lived on the same road as me and my other friend lived too. Jess lived like five minutes away, Jamie lived like five minutes away, like I was I had all my friends around me and then I moved like 45 minutes away. Um, and now I'm just back in contact with all my school friends because if you guys didn't know, the girl I went out with today and also Kirsty, they were like my childhood best friends from primary school and then I went to high school with Kirsty and then when I was 12, um, I moved in with my dad from living with my mom. And at 12, you can't stay in contact with friends. Like it's hard when you live so far away and obviously at 12, you can't really drive, can you? So. As soon as I moved back into the area kind of thing, got in contact with them again and it's just so nice. Cause like I say, we never fell out. We were like childhood best friends and it's just, and obviously now it's so nice. Tatum's got her little one and whatnot. Like Kirstie's boyfriend's like Dan's, one of Dan's like best friends growing up. How it's all worked out is it's really nice. So yeah, I'm happy. I feel really happy, which is nice. Good morning. Um, just nipping out because I really wanted to film a Primark haul today. Oh, you're slipping. But no, I didn't. I really wanted to film an H&M haul. I ordered this stuff on Monday and it was a two to four day delivery, so she looked at me yesterday and it hasn't. And it was only dispatched like this morning. I mean, it could, I guess, every say they've got it, but I think it will come tomorrow, so I'm gonna go to Primark because I don't want to miss an upload. We'll talk uploads in the car actually because I've been having a little think about YouTube and um, we'll chat about it now for two seconds. Right, I'm hoping you can see me okay. Um, the sunlight is a little bit, it's shining but we're not going to complain about the sun. It's nice that it's out. Um, but I feel like I'm not going to end up uploading as much as what I used to. I always used to, I mean, when did I last stick to uploading three times a week, let's be honest. That's been a fair all year, but I always used to aim to try and upload three times a week, right? And I just, I don't want to say it's not possible on YouTube anymore, because of course it's possible, but it's just a bit, I don't really feel pointless either, because it's a bit harsh, but personally, all I love to see on YouTube is hauls and vlogs. And I always stand by, I only like to upload, I only like to upload what I watch, if that makes sense. Um, so I just think from now on, there'll be a weekly vlog every week. Like, I love weekly vlogging. Um, but they'll be on set days, maybe for them to go live every single Wednesday. So I'll vlog Monday to Sunday and then they'll be up on the following Wednesday and then probably not every week because it's a lot but um, a lot of the Sundays there'll be a haul maybe there'll probably be two to three hauls a month out of the four uh, probably like three hauls a week uh, no three hauls a week that's a lot so yeah there will be like less of shock my camera ran out of charge the blooming cameras never have any batteries but um i don't even know what bit i've got to to be fair but i've just come to primark to come get some bits for a haul go home film edit upload and then i'm going around kirsty tonight for chinese which will be very nice a nice little friday night and i'm actually not going to any football this weekend 
Can you believe it? I'm back home. I'm about to film. I did I tell you I ordered some of that green soul stuff? Green soul, like the green thing from TikTok. I think I did, didn't I? Well, I just made it for the first time. I've actually put it into a smoothie. It looks rank. <laughs> I've just used the fruit that we had in the house. So I've got apple, cherries, banana. That is all. <laughs> Apples, cherries and bananas. Um, I just thought if I blended up the che they're frozen cherries, is there pips in here? I mean the stones would be blended anyway, but surely they take them out, right? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, it is pretty rank to be fair, because it just, I don't even know what it tastes like. The fruits just don't mix but i'm gonna drink it anyway i'm gonna film oh my god what's that like asos the asos parcel here i need to stop ordering blue striped trousers i don't know why i keep ordering so many when i have some but i haven't found like the perfect ones yet and i saw these on asos which they are such bad quality Oh my goodness, they're by ASOS Design, they are like awful quality, they were in the sale but they were still like, I think almost £30. Pounds. No, these are going to have to go back, <laughs> super duper long, can you see, they did not look like this on the model. Primark was difficult, like it's difficult at Christmas because they go so like OTT with Christmas so it's hard to like just find clothes because everything had the blooming Grinch on it or like a Christmas Mickey Mouse. <laughs> so yeah, it was difficult. Not a big bag to be fair, like all of this. I'm going to find out calls already live for you guys. So I'm going to get that filled and then I'm going to go see my nan and granddad. I said I'd go around a half three because I haven't seen them in so long. Um, and I just, I just really want to go around and see them. So I'm going to go to theirs at half past three. And then I don't know if I'll come back home or just go straight to Kirsty's house. Seems quite pointless to come home to go back out. I think I'm going to sit here to film. I don't know why I'm like it, but I don't like being sit up to film a Primark call. And like hanging up for everything up on the rail. I've never, I'd, I never have really. I like to like sit down to film a Primark call. Not too sure why. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Hi, it looks like a different day. Because <laughs> I've changed my hair and my jumper, but I've just got them ready so I can jump off. Jump off. Head off straight to my nan's and granddad's. Oh, after I finish editing. I don't like wearing all black to my grandparents' house. <laughs> I feel like they just, they'll say something, you know. So I like to wear colour. <laughs> so that's why I've just put the gym on, which can I just say I love so much. I got it from Zara a couple months ago in store. They do have it online though. Oh, the hair somewhere. Oh, it's like the comfiest, warmest little thing in it ever but i'm gonna sit and edit this so i'm gonna need you guys i'm gonna need the camera to plug into my laptop so i'll speak to you when i'm done editing i swear why my calls are like my favorite videos to film and edit because that video literally took me 20 minutes to edit that was some a good going editing session that i used to be so against blue and black like, it was the worst combination ever, and that was all I wear. I'm such a hypocrite. <laughs> Got a mouthful of food. We got Chinese. Oh, it's so good. We have literally the exact same. Mm -mm -mm. Good morning, good morning. I am so cold. I'm freezing. I'm going to the gym on Saturday. I haven't been to the gym on a weekend in so long. I said to Dad, it feels really weird not like going to any football. Fuck, I got FOMO. There's nothing even to miss out on because there's nothing on. <laughs> but I'm going to go to the gym with Dan and meet Kirsty there. 
And then we'll do our own separate thing. And then me and Danny will do food shop. Well, I think we'll go to Starbucks. And then go to Aldi and do a food shop. Say good morning. Hello. It's the coldest morning so far. Not that I'm normally awake in the morning, but. So you don't say this to one o'clock. That is a lie. Oh, uh, we went to Asda today only because. Also, sorry about the quality on my iPhone cam. Only because I couldn't be bothered. To, I said we couldn't be bothered to go to Aldi. We ended up going to Aldi to get a chicken, but Asda was near the gym, so we went to Asda. But we've got some tea bags, crisps, pitas. We don't need too much this week because I'm away majority of the week. I'm gonna go down to Cetalia, so. I haven't got too much. Just these, they're great to keep in the freezer. Oats. I wanted to try these for lunch because we've got a little panini machine. These cookies are so good. Milky Way. Smarty yogurts because I just wanted them. Hoops, peanut butter, Dom's milk. Tagliatelle, normal milk, coffee pods. I don't know, Dan picked that up. Garlic bread, spaghetti, sauce. Salmon, potatoes, chicken, tender stem broccoli, and steak. We had a bit left over from last week, like veg, fruit, so we just needed some filler. Filler stuff, basically. Lunch, well, actually a really late lunch. <laughs> it's like 25 to 4, but oh, big cup of tea. Though. What are we going to watch? Prison break? We should watch a cup of prison. Or EastEnders? No, I think I'd rather watch Prison Break to be fair. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Hello, we are going out to some friends who have just moved in down the road, so we're going to walk there, which is nice. But I'm literally going in full comfort, I'm hoping everyone hasn't dressed up. I've literally just got a white fox tracksuit on, North Face Puffer, mini eggs. That's what we're going with. Um, Someone's got many shoes. I think it's me. Good morning. Morning. Oh, We've come. Oh, I think I've got no water. We've come to the garden centre because why have we even come here? Christmas Outdoor stuff. Just Christmas have a look. Lights. Um, yeah, we need some lights. Because we bought some the first year we moved out, but they were orange. Could have put them up for Halloween, to be honest. Were they orange or were they blue? I thought they were like. No, were they, no they were orange. Yeah. Like, really. They, they were okay, but like, orange just isn't very Christmassy. We want some more. Like white, silvery. I still like want, I still want like a warm. Goldy. Yeah, I still like a warm, but I don't want orange. I know what you mean. So. Bit of gold. Bit of gold tinge to yeah, it. Yeah, I thought like yeah. we might need something else. I would love a nice reef, but I don't know if I'm going to get one from here. Oh my. We definitely don't need ball balls. We're not buying any ball balls. We don't Cut need ball balls. The clip of Amber walking out with nine extra ball balls. Just hanging from everywhere. Spent or whatever. Yeah. I think Webbs is better. I don't. But you said Webbs is small. Yeah, it's true, to be fair. I live a good garden centre, though. Yeah. Hopefully, oh, it's going to be Christmassy, isn't it? Yeah, it will be. Of course it 100%. is. Um, Fresh air will do you good. Your mobile phone is still in the vehicle. She's so loud. I don't know why she's so loud, to be fair. I like these ones. I don't <laughs> Matt. I like them. I do like them. I'm trying to think about... I have some more orange than that. I do like those ones. Um, I just said I like these, but then I've seen the box, and, and that's literally the box we've got. They are nice. I'm sure it has one more orange. But imagine if we just end up buying the same. Exactly the same box. Yeah, but look at all the boxes. Crystal light. It's a big box. Can they go outdoor? Into an outdoor, yeah. 
god, 720. Oh, I'm sitting that big. Oh my god, is that the singing rain? There's the snowmen. snowmen. There's snowmen. snowmen. And penguins. We've come to a different garden centre because the other one wasn't very good, but this one's very expensive, so it's cool though. These are so cool. Oh my god, I love these ones. We're actually hosting Christmas this year for the first time, so like, I'm really excited about it. Boy, that's so cool. Yeah, it's so expensive for some chocolate. Whoa, is this when you just drop these in? They're so cool. Oh, it's, it just smells like Christmas. We love these. They are so nice. Oh my god, I love that one. That is so cute. We've got these, but ours are like wooden. These are so much better though. Oh my god, the trees. <laughs> Oh, we've got the big version of it. Yes, we do. Let's see there. Show me what we picked up. It's not a bauble, honestly. It's not like it's going to hang on the tree or anything. It's so cute. The house is a mess. So me and Dan are splitting it. He is downstairs cleaning and I'm cleaning upstairs. We have until have half an hour, it's half one. And we both want to be sat down watching the football at two. So... It's good that we've got a little time limit because it'll make us do it quick. But yeah, it's the current situation everywhere. It just feels like a mess. Not really dirty, but just messy. Like upstairs definitely just needs tidying up. So yeah, clean with me. You wouldn't have thought we did a food shop literally yesterday, but <laughs> we move. I've actually just sit, sit, sat to make my Christmas wish list. Um, and then she says very unrealistic. North Face Puffer, Apple AirPods Max, Olaplex shampoo conditioner set, a coach, uh, coach tabby bag, black and gold, drink elephant 50ml moisturiser. I mean, the big fluffy dressing gown's realistic. I'll give it that. And the black Adidas Amber's a little bit more realistic. Um, I mean, here's hoping. <laughs> Looks good. Dan actually did the best roast potatoes. I didn't like roast potatoes until I met Dan because I'd only ever had like Aunt Bessie ones. Like, just the oven ones. These homemade ones are incredible. Is it good? Mm. I'm still chilling. <laughs> Still chilling. I've got the football on. Um, I feel so anxious. Like, I haven't felt this anxious in like forever. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I feel so sick for no reason. And I think that's when it's like worse, when there's like no reason to be anxious. So, the vlog might go a bit quiet. <laughs> um, I am going to end it tonight anyway, but yeah. I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all soon for the one. Goodbye, guys.